What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Garden State Hip Hop Hour. Once again, we're at Sloppy Vinyl Studios out here in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Today with me, I have Juice Potter. Juice Potter, what up, y'all? I mean, make sure y'all tap in. Just drop that mixtape, Project Potter. That shit everywhere. Make sure y'all tap in with me. I mean, give me some feedback. Let me know what y'all fucking with. <laughs> you want to like give a little bit of like background about yourself or anybody that may not know? Uh, Juice Potter, yeah, I'm from um, I'm from Orange, New Jersey, <laughs> um, Taylor Street to be exact. Um, I came up. I wasn't really fucking with music at first. You feel me? Uh, got into music probably about four years ago. I mean, saw that I had some talent, and I just started falling in love with the shit, the process, the studio, the, the putting the work in, the interviews, it is to that. <laughs> Like, this shit just, this shit fun. Like, you feel me? I'm having fun with this shit. Or, right? That's the best part about being an artist is, like, when you just sit back for a second, in the midst of all that work, there is, like, this fun aspect to yeah. it. Like, you get to sit here and get asked about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like Consistently, too. Like, consistently, over and over. Yeah, you answering the same questions, but it's just, like, shit, like, that shit fun to me. I don't know. Are, are, since you're saying you are always asked the same questions, do you have, like, pre-thought out, like, answers in your head? I don't I never think about what's going, what, what y'all gonna ask me. Like I never mm -hmm. think like, oh damn, what they gonna ask me? I never know. It just <laughs> always end up being the same questions. That nah, word. I saw you just did a Kazi magazine too. Yeah, shout, shout out to Kazi magazine. That was a dope ass interview too. Nah, Kazi. My son hard. Zach. Shout out to Zach. <laughs> oh, Zach did it. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out my man Ron. Shout out the whole Kazi team. But I, I noticed that when you said you're from Orange, uh, you named your street. Is Thanks. that something in Orange? Like, is it broken down by street out there? Like, um, or is it you just like shouting out your street? I just, when I say I'm from Orange, I don't want you to think I'm from nowhere else but Taylor Street. Like, I don't want you to think, like, I'm from just, I guess you you could break it down in sections. You feel me? Uh, I guess. And my son from Section 8. I mean, okay. um, the projects. Not yeah, specifically yeah. the project, I'm from Taylor Street, but that section. Right. No, I just be wondering, because, like, you know, you always hear, especially from Chicago, King Von, you be like, you know, fuck 60. Yeah, I ain't, I, I ain't gonna <laughs> get into the street beef. You feel me? I'm gonna leave the streets in the streets. I'm here for music. But I'm from Taylor Street. Nah, word. I mean, that's that. <laughs> nah, I wasn't trying to press it, but like, I, it was like the, one of the first times I heard someone specifically say a street, and it just reminded me of that situation in Chicago. Yeah, but nah. like, no, fuck that street, fuck this street. I just want them to know, like, I'm from Orange, <laughs> I'm from Taylor. Like, your whole life you've been from Orange, or? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I did a little EO. Mm -hmm. I did some East Orange. I went to the same school as freaking, um, what's the girl named? Teacher Campbell. Oh, okay. I went to Washington Academy of Music in East Orange. That's fire. And, um,. I came to Orange in high school, and then I lived in Orange the whole time, though, fucking around. Lived in Orange the whole time, just went to school over there. Yeah. Then when I went to Orange High, I really got tuned in, like super, super tuned in with Orange. And, I mean... That's hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. It's, 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 well, it's other the artists are from out there. Do you follow any other artists from Orange? Orange? Or? Yeah, the gang, the gang. Shout out to ABDMG. Shout out to motherfucking... Um, well, niggas ain't from Orange, but shout out to my son, Marcus Araya. I fuck with bro. Mm. Shout out to um, my son, New Era. That's my son. That's my cuz. Um, he was on the project, right? Yeah. Yeah, shout out to everybody that was on the project. Gleesh, Tyon, um, Mo Money. He from he from the same spot I'm from. Shout out to Dougie F, matter of fact. He from the same spot I'm from. Um, you ever did a song with him? Nah, I would love to though. Nah, Doug, you go hard. Love to. Yeah, Doug, yeah, Doug, he do his He dropped thing. that shit with um, Sue Surf. That shit went crazy. Yeah, Doug do his thing. Doug do his thing. I mean, I, I want to do a song with Doug. We going to get into him sooner or later. Ain't no pressure. I think he was in Jersey for like a few days. Now I believe he's back in. I mean, he, he come around once in a while. You know what I'm saying? He busy man. He getting this. <laughs> nah, yeah, that man be working. But yo, like back to the Kazi uh, article. It looked like I was reading a question, but you were talking about yourself like in the third person. Yeah, yeah. You were yeah. like, you know, Juice Potter, he's from Miami. He That's just started two years ago. Nah, for real. <laughs> like, is he not for you? Real. Is is I'm is, saying, like, you, the way you look at it is it's more like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing. Oh, okay. It's like a split personality <laughs> kind of thing. And it's not something I really could control. Like that shit just <laughs> like I swear to God, I could be asleep and I had to perform. I'll be asleep. And they'd be like, all right, Juice Potter, come to the stage. I should have flipped right on and I'm ready to go. I was never asleep. I'm like happened in Miami. I was waiting to perform. I don't fell asleep. Heard my name. Went on the stage. Flipped that shit. Flipped that shit. I went to uh, performed in PA at the Sherman Theater. Mm. I opened up for a boogie. That's hard. You feel me? Oh, a boogie. Flipped that shit. <laughs> You know I mean? But wait, wait. So, so he's not from Orange. He's from Miami. Yeah, now Juice Potter from Miami. I'm, from, I'm from. Orange. So, so who, who, who are we talking to right now? Ah uh, man, y'all talking, y'all talking to the nigga from Orange right now. Juice, 
He, he, so you he, just telling the story of Juice Potter to me right now. I, yeah. I thought I was gonna have an interview with Juice Potter. Nah, I mean he he in the building. You feel me? But you feel me? Like he more or less he a performer more or less. Mm. You feel me? He let me do most of the talking because he don't he don't really talk. He just he work. He in the action. He more so action. I'm, <laughs> I'm also the talking side. Like you feel me? All right. So how how do you like deal the two? So someone like like how do you separate the two in your daily or as you're moving around? More times than not, I am who I am. Mm. You feel me? Like, I'm him more times than not. But when it's time, studio time, when it's, it's performance time, when it's, when it's when we locked in anything, I'm when I'm locked in, that's what I mean. When I, when, especially when it, if the glasses go on, it's time. Like, it's nothing I can really do. And once the glasses go on, the homies, they already know. They like, yo, this nigga Juice, he too fucking cool for me. Like, I ain't even. Yo, you got the reverse Superman thing going on. Because he, he's Clark Kent with glasses, and then you take it off, and he's a superhero. Yeah. For you, you put him on, and now you the... And I'm Juice. Just like that. Just smooth like that. <laughs> nah, I dig it. So why was he born in Miami, or what happened in Miami that this character was created? All right, so I've been Juice since 2012, 2013. Okay. My homies, uh, they gave me the name Juice, because I used to have lean a lot. Yeah, that's how I was reading that. You brought too much lean. I brought the lean, so he <laughs> called me Juice, you feel me? Boom. In 2017, that's when Potter came. Potter, Potter was born in Miami. My friends, I threw the, I threw the glasses on. <laughs> that was it? Cat, the Harry the, Potter glasses we talked about, right? The gold frame. They okay. gold, though. He got black ones. I got gold ones. That's all right. Threw the gold frames on. Boom. My homies like, the fuck? My, my cousins, they like, fuck you, Juice Potter? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like, yeah. That, matter of fact, that you shit fly. Little lightning bolt. Yeah. Nah, you know what? I got a little scar right here from when I banged my motherfucking head playing street football and shit. You feel me? So, like, if you want to look right there. Nah, no, I believe right it. Yeah, I see right there. You got a little tiny yeah, scar. Yeah, I got like right here. It count. <laughs> it count. It count. Everything counts. Everything counts. What's that SEO like, though? Because I look up your name, I got a mix of, like, Starbucks and Harry Potter. And then one article it was the Kazi article on top. But you know, like when you search Juice Potter, you know, when you look up an artist, have you had an issue with the SEO or are you trying to work around it? Is that something you even thought about? I've been working. I've been working to just, so, so that it just built by itself. Mm. Feel me? Like, cause sometimes when you like, um, when you tapped in, like Google, they, t they sent me an email saying whatever they were saying. You feel me? So they said I got to do a certain amount of whatever, whatever, and then they going. So it's just about, me putting that work in. Yeah. Because some people, like, they'll search it up. You can see, like, oh, I dropped Potterville and mm -hmm. da, da da But it don't pop up, like, like a full music yeah, artist yeah, page. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Because when I click on news, it's usually where I try to go to look up, like, like written interviews anyway. Exactly. It's just about me putting the work in. Me putting, keeping foot on neck. Me getting this project Potter out, streamed out. Mm -hmm. So and talk to me about fact, the project. It just dropped the 21st, right? It just dropped the 21st. And I just um, I just announced I'm going to do a, um, a sauce challenge. I'm gonna let the people uh, send in videos, um, and I'm gonna give out probably like 150 dollars to whoever sent in the best video. Like I want to see who. But the best video of what? Like break it down. Just listening to the song. Oh, so just a video of someone listening to the song? Yeah, do like, whatever you gonna do. Like if you just gonna sit in a car and listen to it, if you wanna make a trailer video, okay. if you wanna make That's a dope. TikTok, or like however you wanna do it, it's up to you. But the person that I'm gonna throw it in my story, I mean let the people vote. Like what y'all feel? What's what's most fire? Whatever most fire video. I'm going to send them 150. Any, any song on the project? Oh, it's a sauce challenge, you feel oh, me? Oh, okay. It's a sauce challenge, so I want them to do it to sauce. Mm. You feel me? And then, um, I mean, I'm going to hold up. I'm, 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 I'm going to just leave it at that. I ain't even going. <laughs> Is it only on Instagram or can it be done on TikTok? It be anywhere. Okay. Anywhere. But, but where's, just I'm make sure you tag me. Just make sure you tag okay. me. Okay. And you're on all the, so, you're on all the social media. I'm medias? everywhere. Oh, word. I'm everywhere. Okay. That's got to be hard to keep up with all those, right? Or do you have a team that helps you with that? Yeah, the... I mean, it's a small team, but it's a team nonetheless. And that's, you got to have a team. Like, you can't be doing this shit by yourself. Like, no funny shit. There's no way in the world I won't be able to do any of the shit I'm nah, doing by myself. You're talking about real. Snapchats, Instagrams, it's YouTubes, TikToks, too much. thrillers, whatever pops up. It's everything. too much. I, I, it's too much. I don't even be on my phone like that. Like, before I, before I dropped the tape, probably like a month before, I wasn't even on the gram. I oh. deleted my gram just like chilling like that. And it should be... The gram just be boring for real, unless you got something going. And I ain't had nothing going. Oh, okay. You feel me? That, so, that's what I was going to say, because if you delete the Instagram as an artist, that's yeah, kind of like a... Yeah, I ain't had nothing going, so I just was like on some shit. Like, damn. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then that shit just turned me up. Like, I'm about to drop this tape. I'm about to, drop this, I'm about to get this shit together. I'm about to get my bag. Yeah. So talk to me. How did the tape come together? Um, 
it was just experience of living. Like I really didn't have nothing or, for me in my mind. I'll write off of my current experiences. So it's like I could always dig back and write some old shit, and when I get in that mode, I'll do that. Yeah. But for the tape, I wanted it to be fresh. So it was like I ain't really. Like, I was doing stuff, but I really didn't have nothing to rap about. And so then once life started, like, making changes and sending me through this up and downs, you feel me? I had a little something more to write about. Yeah. You feel me? So that's when I, that's, I wrote, like, half the tape. And I don't even really write, right? But I put together half the tape, like, in, in, in one studio session. Hard. Save a lot of money like that, probably. Yeah, because at the same time, I'm not about to keep going back and yeah, back and yeah, back and yeah. back. In. But this was a project that you had planned out, or you were just like, oh shit, I, I got motivated, or you know, saying you just had the thoughts in your head to finally put it together. I, I, I ain't had no plan. Like, literally, oh, okay. I, I, I thought about it. Like, I think I want to drop a tape, but I never was like, eh, I think I'm going to go singles and videos. Yeah. So I was thinking I'm just drop single, single, single video, single video, single video. And then I just, I don't know, I changed my mind. Like, I literally just, like, fuck that, I'm dropping the tape. That's hard. Do you have a favorite song off of it? My favorite song? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I, I like the whole tape. I ain't gonna lie. And a lot of the different you songs. You gotta say that. I can't really. It's hard to. <laughs> you, I can't ever imagine artists being like, nah, I, I don't like every song of mine. You know, Yo, every song is like different for me. Like the intro, that shit so hard to me, bro. Like that shit, that shit hit me. Like when I put that together, I, I felt. I felt that beat. Like, mm -hmm. I just felt that shit. So that shit, it hold, it's special to me. And then when I'm talking about shit like that, it's special to me. Um, Sauce, that's sh honestly, Sauce, not my favorite song, because when I made Sauce, I don't even, I didn't even think it was going to be, I didn't even think it was going to get received like this. This shit getting, like, like feel me? Go so off. Yeah, but I like the song. I just didn't think that it was going to be like this. So I ain't going to say Sauce is my favorite. Then you got... Count up. That's that's not my favorite. Even though that's what my nigga Gleesh. Shout out to Gleesh. <laughs> um, man, honestly, I would have to say either uh, Fat. Um, because I wrote this song. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we about to get some wild ass story. This is probably gonna get clipped for the Instagram right here. So make it good. <laughs> I wrote this song because I ain't gonna say this is why I wrote it, but when I started writing it. I almost put different lyrics because I'm. I was thinking about. I used to deal with this chick, and she used to always say her, her ex nigga used to be hitting the phone like, yeah. like basically like hating. Uh you feel me? So, <laughs> like, you feel me? Like that's why I said your last nigga was a dyke. Like that nigga a bitch. Uh, but I don't. You feel me? Like it's just. Does he know it's about him? I don't even know that nigga. Oh, like, like imagine, like imagine a guy right now just sitting there. Look, oh, this is hard. Like, yeah. now knows about him. It's crazy. <laughs> it's gonna fuck him up if you ever hear it. It's this is like when you, this is like what it was like. If you, like you go to Genius and you're trying to click through the lyrics, trying to yeah. figure out who the diss is towards. Like, yeah, it's to, it's to him, but it's just off the base of like, like why the fuck you like, like scrambling nigga, yeah, like scrambling so nigga. But that was the that was the, that's what made me like. Yeah, you just pop that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. that's why I like the song so much because it's more so like it's funny to me. Yeah, because you you know the back end to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the people aren't gonna really catch on unless they know that. Shit, like, yeah. and tell you. This shit funny as hell. <laughs> nah, I I think beforehand I was telling you I like the ass right ass gripping. Ass gripping, hell yeah. Yeah, no, that shit was hard. Ass gripping, that's one of my faves too. I like that shit. It turned me up. That shit turned me up. It just I can't help but get in my bag, hit my pot, hit my <laughs> dance, like and get on my. I mean. And then you had a drill song on there too. Uh, right. Which was that? Well, I can't really play it on here. You know, I, I ain't gonna play. It. Just tell me the name. I'm trying to remember. Like I, I, like I was driving as I'd be listening to it. Damn, one of these is a drill song. Oh, F and F freestyle. Oh, is that what it is? That's probably the most drilling I'm doing. Project Pot. A talk is cheap, maybe. You saying? I ain't sure, but talk is cheap. Um, I freestyle that whole shit. Freestyle that whole shit and then F and F freestyle, I freestyled that whole shit too. I was on my way to the studio. <laughs> on my way to the studio and I heard the beat. I'm like, damn this shit hard. So I just start rapping. I remember what's gonna be like a fly nigga. I remember to the beef, he gonna die with you. And when I got to the studio, mm. I started putting the words in, I started like filling it out, filling it out. And so shit, like I put the shit down. I'm like, oh this shit hard, like this shit sliding. Yeah, nah. Like, I literally freestyled that shit. On the way to the studio. Yeah, nah, that's gonna be a great feeling, right? Like, Man, I love that shit. Like at first, when you first start recording, you don't know, like, you don't know, like, damn, this shit might not be for me. You got you yeah. doubt yourself. 
You feel me? And then you like, these niggas lying. This shit not hard. <laughs> like, y'all just, just, just saying that because y'all fuck with me. And then once you start getting confidence in yourself, you ain't nervous in the studio no yeah, more. You don't awesome. feel like that little jittery. Like, you like, this is my home. Like, turn me up. Like, get my levels right. Huh? Yeah, all right. All right, start this shit over. I'm about to go in. Like, now it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, just like you said, that confidence. Yeah, and, that's and it. Your last project, right? It did, it did like 100,000 streams, right? Yeah. So, like... That's at a bar, so are you expecting that from this? If it doesn't, yeah. are you disappointed? I mean, of course. Okay. You always want to do better than your last. You never want to regress. Mm -hmm. You always want to progress. So for me, I definitely, for me, like my goal, I dream big. You know I mean? I want to go, first I want to go, I want to touch that gold plaque. I want to go gold all indie. All indie want to go gold. And then eventually, you feel me, I want to put a project out. If not this one, that Bill did, that go platinum. I want a platinum plaque. Them is my goals. You feel me? Like, nah, yeah, you got it. I mean, yeah. I, I, would, I would hope that's all yeah. artists' goals. Them like, my goals. Otherwise, like, you're just making music for fun yeah, at this point. fuck all that other cool shit. I'm trying to get plaques on my wall. Like, I ain't trying to look cool. And Yeah, I want to empower people and, you know what I mean, like bring people on. And, you know what I mean, of course, it's going to look good. Yeah. I'm doing this shit to be remembered. You feel me? Do you just do, you know, are you just the artist? Do you do any producing or engineering? Or I started beats? getting into it. Like, I started uh, um, engineering and, like, mixing this shit. Yeah. But I felt like I had to first get control of the artist first. So, uh, <laughs> I just fuck with it. Quit, uh, I quit, like, going so hard. Like, because my homeboy got the studio at the crib. So, I just go up there. I record myself. Mix it down a little bit. Call my engineer and have him give me the full mix. Shit like that. But... I started more or less focusing on the craft. Like uh, I wanted to do a little bit more with the R and B and the auto tune. So I started like fucking with the auto tune, finding my sound, what pitch I sound good in, what how should I sound, like what's muscle memory, so I don't have to go keep it in the studio. I do it again, do it again. It's muscle memory now. When I yeah. get in there, it's just it flow. You feel me? So it was more so me focusing on myself, the artist. Oh, that's dope. I mean, I'm gonna get back into the uh, to the. Uh, Mixing and uh, probably gonna get a, my own camera, start shooting videos and shit like that. Uh, that's hard. And did this quarantine give you time to like work on more of those things, or Perfect. how did actually, you move through this quarantine? Absolutely, it gave me all the time. Actually, like it gave me more time than I actually needed. I done started a clothing brand. I mean, shout out to Husky. Yeah, I was I was gonna bring it up once we got word. through talking. Shout out to Husky's clothing. <laughs> I started a clothing brand. I started making my own juice. Um, oh, so juice got real juice. Yeah, no facts. <laughs> Facts, I got my own juice. I that's sell it at my, right. my local corner store. Oh, oh, that's dope. You got it in there? You yeah. want to do all though? Yeah. That's fire. What kind of juice is it? It's a, it's like a, it's a tea. It's like a, a orange tea. It's a two different teas and it's like a basic orange called? juice. Sunset tea. Fire. Orange sunset is the flavor. How'd you like, how'd, how'd you even like, like were you just at home like concocting stuff? Like is that a goal you had? Like. Nah, I'm a businessman, yo. And I, and I do, I'm an entrepreneur at the end of the day, so. You ain't bring us no juice. I didn't. You're right. I didn't. Look, we could have sit it right here. We could have. We could have. Nah, right, next time. Could have. I got the bottles in the house. That would have been hard right here. You yeah, I, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta get on my shit. <laughs> I gotta get on my shit. But I got the bottles in the house. I got um, I got a food business. I'm I got on hold right now. I got a um, a partner with that. Um, we gonna we gonna come crazy with the food industry once me and her are both in the space where we could put some effort into. It. Yeah. Um, I got clothing brand. I'm wearing the pieces right now. Um. I got, like I said, the juice. It come also with chips and shit like that. Um, That's tough. I do the music, of course. And I, feel, I always feel like I'm forgetting something because it'd be so much. Oh, so much I write, I write, I write. I'm a writer. Like, I write scripts. Oh, that's fire. Have you produced anything? I have a sitcom. I got a pilot. That's fire. I'm, I'm focusing on the music first because I could do. I was going to say, like, you're, like, you have all these different. I can't. I got so much that I said, yo, what I'm going to do? Like I had to really stop last year, stop that thing, like what I'm gonna do. And I said, I could do movies, I could shoot, I could be a fucking director when I'm 50. I could be 50 years old and start directing. I could be 50 years old and do clothes. I cannot be 50 years old and rap. If you gonna rap, rap. I mean, how old is Nas? He just dropped the album. Who the fuck? No disrespect, <laughs> Nas is a king. Like, I don't mean <laughs> no, no he disrespect. was already an established artist. You I feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, no disrespect joking. to Nas, but who the fuck listen to that today? You feel me? And Nas is a hit. Yeah, who the fuck? Come on. I mean, Benny the, the that Butcher. shows on the billboards. No disrespect to Benny the Butcher neither. Big pickpots of getting up there at 35. Mad respect. Mm. But if you want to be 
Me? Yeah, no, I'm just going back and forth with you. I'm not like, nah, this is what you're do saying. That. <laughs> do that. It's good, but you know what's going on. If you want to be where you want to be, you're going to have to put your foot down and do that shit before you're too old. Wait, oh, Nas is 47? Close to 50. Damn, yeah. Nas is pretty close. Nas to like, he was already an established 18. artist. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like a young boy, right? Well, he started when he was like 18, 18. 17. You got to come in the game. You know, I'm not saying you have to, because uh, five years 30. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes it's your time, it's whatever just, it lines up. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just about once you get to a certain age, it's just like, for me personally, it's as a man. It's easier to do certain things at a certain as age. As a man, yeah. I feel like at a certain age, I got I should be behaving my age. I'm not going to be out here acting like no young boy mm-hmm. if I'm a grown-ass 30-year-old, 35. But that's when you drop like that J444 album. That's when I start talking. With knowledge. That's when I, exactly. <laughs> and still niggas that's grown, still... Yeah. Talking, you feel me? I, I can't be that. You feel me? I have to switch the whole game up if I get yeah, that yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. All right, so artists first, and we'll do the other stuff. Yeah, do all, I could do all that shit when I'm 50. I could do <laughs> yeah. anything I want. Because you're behind I, the scenes, your face yeah, isn't there. Like, it don't you're matter. expected to be in the club. I could even bottom. act at 50. Like, I don't have to, you feel uh-huh. me? So, this music shit is now. If you don't do it now, you're not going to never do it. So, I, I put all that shit to the side and I went straight for the music. Which one do you love the most, though? I don't know. I look. I like making money. I like. Um, mm, there you go. I like. I like being busy. I like having this going and this going and this being successful here. Like I, I can't say that I like music more than. I mean, obviously, I like music the most because I put everything else aside. To yeah. Music, obviously, but it's like I like writing scripts. Like I, I want to see my visions come to life. Yeah. So that's when I do videos. Y'all gonna see. Like I don't fuck around. I'm gonna put a video together. I'm not just gonna be in front of the camera just rapping. No disrespect to niggas that do that. That's just not me. If I'm not just gonna sit there and look at you and rap all day, I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you something to watch because I'm. I'm. Um, what's the shit? You uh, creative. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm creative. My mind be running. Nah, fact. You feel me? So it just like it's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> not for real. Though. But I got a question, right? Like so. Since your main focus is being an artist right now, do you ever feel bad when you are taking time to do some of these other things? I know you said you put them to the side, but you didn't put them completely to the I side. I can't put them completely to the side. That's what I'm saying. It's so like every second that you are, you know, branding out your new soda and your juice. Yep, I do feel a little bit like, damn, I got to get back. But I put all that shit to the side to put this tape out. Hmm. Did all that shit to put this tape out. Like, let me get all my shit together, put this tape out. And I still got projects to work on. So now it's like, damn, I can't even go and fucking work on this motherfucking uh, movie. I can't even work on this uh, this script, this pilot. I gotta still do the music shit. So it's like, I ain't really rushing to get over there. I'm yeah, not rushing, yeah, yeah. you feel me? I'm, I'm here, this is where I'm at. And when I get over there, I'm gonna get over there and it's gonna be lit. Are you happy at where you're at in your career right now? Do you feel like you'd have been further or are you further than you thought you'd be? I'm not gonna say I'm further. I'm gonna say that I'm happy that my first tape did a hundred thousand. Mm. I'm gonna say that was unexpected. That was off little promo. I probably spent like maximum five hundred dollars, and that's just off small promo. I didn't do nothing crazy, like and so that shit reached Japan and all type of shit, uh, all, like different seven different countries did a hundred thousand. I was like, damn, that's fire. No video, nothing. Like straight five songs. Like you feel me? So yeah. I was like, yeah, five songs. If I put my foot on their neck, then what? Five. You feel me? And this shit really, I really put my time with it. Like that, a nigga hit me, a fan hit me. I was like, bro, I listen to every song till I won't hear that shit no more. <laughs> I swear to God, he said I listen to every time I won't hear that shit no more. I'm like, damn. Where's your biggest fan base at? You know? It's in Japan. Oh, okay. So your biggest fan base is in Japan. Japan. It's in Japan. Okay, I thought you were saying it reached Japan. I didn't know you meant like your biggest fan base. My biggest fan base is Japan. Japan streams my shit the most. When this, sh- I can't. <laughs> no, I know I have it. Like, but you have to, like. I got plans. Yeah, oh, okay. I buy a little, buy a little clothing that say Tokyo and shit on it, just because yeah, I fuck with them. Yeah, 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 I fuck with them niggas for fucking with me. You feel me? They done made TikToks and all type of crazy shit I ain't even know about. Like, they was going crazy with the one song. They was streaming all of them, but the one song, they was going crazy with it. And so I just feel like... That's got to be so unexpected, right? Like, you wake up one day, it's like, wait, I have all these streams from Japan. How? Yo, I swear to God, how? Like, literally, how the fuck did y'all find this shit? Like, what did I do that y'all found this shit? I don't know. But Sorry. I'm stepping on foot even more now because it's, it's not no pressure, but... I'm coming. Like it's, it's How's it. the love for you out in Orange and Jersey in general? It's growing. Mm. It's growing. I feel like it was stagnant for a while. And I feel like maybe that's my fault a little bit. 
maybe I'm a little like unreceptive sometimes. I don't know, but I just be working. What do you mean unreceptive? Like I know what the like, word means. I don't but come around. Oh, okay. I don't so show you a lot in the of, mix. I don't be around a lot. Nah, I be I more so stick in close quarters and put work together. Like, what's my next step? What's my plan? What I'm gonna do? And I pop out here and there. So it's like I need to be seen more. I need to be out so that people could know who I am more. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, they ain't yeah, gonna know mix. me through the Instagram. I mean, that's all cool, but they still not gonna be able to see me in person and be like, oh hey. Yeah, like what's good. Feel me? Have yeah. a little conversation. Feel me? I wanna build genuine kind of, I wanna build genuine vibes with the people more yeah. or less than over the internet shit. Cause the internet shit so like fake to me and it's it's not really real. I like to build genuine yeah. real vibes. It's different. We could talk all day on Instagram, but then like you see the person, it just They that, will not say vibe. nothing. They'll say nothing. Y'all talk uh, all day on the gram. You see them in person, they're shy as hell, say nothing. And so it's just like no word. You feel me? <laughs> I'm sure you have plans to get more in the mix, but then obviously all this. All of this. Yo, I was supposed to have been in Atlanta. April 25th, I was supposed to have been in Atlanta. That's well, Atlanta. Why you? What about, I know I'm asking about Jersey, though. Were you, were you going to be out around here, or are you just leaving this? Leaving I was, nah, I was leaving. Yeah, I was leaving. <laughs> he said, fuck this, I'm out. Why not Atlanta? even that. Not even that. I was going to Atlanta because, <laughs> one, my cousin, she been begging me to look, come out there. Like, yo, come out here, please. Like, I swear to God, you'll blow you come out here. Like just fuck, I got my own crib. She's like, yo, just fuck. Yeah, she like, fuck yeah, the crib. <laughs> just come oh, out. Oh, you were going out there like to live? That's what, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like you were just going out there to like you know do some like nah, some press runs, go say what's up to the people. I was supposed to go out there to stay. Oh, you was like fuck this place for real. Because why, I just, why you don't you don't got love for us out here? Like, nah, it's not that. It just I just <laughs> didn't. I wasn't putting the work in, so nah. I was like, damn, like this shit, I might just leave. Do you feel like there's less opportunities here than Atlanta? Oh, of course, Atlanta is the land of black black entrepreneurship. You, successful black entrepreneurs come out of Atlanta. You come out of everywhere, but it's just, that shit is there. Yeah. You can make it from anywhere, though. I feel like, and if you can make it out of Jersey, I swear to God, I feel like you can make it out of Jersey, you can make it anywhere. But that's what I'm saying. You're skipping making it out of Jersey, and you're going to go right to Atlanta. But that's why I ain't leave, though. That's why I ain't leave. I was going to go do a show, and I was going to go just kick it and see what the vibe was. Yeah. But I talked to my manager. She like, yo, you can't leave Jersey. Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> Man, just she like yo, like why would you leave the crib? Like you gotta get the crib fucking with you first, and so I'm not knocking it. Atlanta's lit. I was just like, yeah, I was like, this guy was just like, ah, fuck Jersey. I'm going to Atlanta. Yeah, get popping out there. It ain't happening here. It just I ain't have no team. Yeah, I mean, I was doing all this shit on my own. Like when I dropped Potterville, anything I ever dropped, it was really just me. Like I had like um, niggas I did music with and shit like that, but it was really me pulling for me. Like, and I felt like if it's just me pulling for me. The fuck That's I can pull me to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you. Know? It's just me. It ain't no what the fuck. Like Yeah, you're saying basically if it's just you, it doesn't matter where you could be just you anywhere. Anywhere. You feel yeah. me? I'm still gonna be from Jersey, but I'm gonna be in Atlanta. But when did it start changing though? And when did you start having those extra pieces in that team? Um when COVID hit. I um. deleted my gram. My man <laughs> uh, she wasn't even my manager at the time. She was just she, we had been talking manager talk. Yeah. And we've been fucking around. She'd been booking shows for me. And we've been, I knew it since I was a kid though, but yeah, shout out Marviana, shout out o- OHTF. Oh, okay, Marviana. Facts. Okay. So uh, um, she hit me, she's like, yo, we your grandma. Out here trying to function. Out here trying to function. Out here trying to Facts. function. Facts. She hit me, like, yo, we your grandma. I'm like, man, I deleted that shit. Like, I ain't really fucking around. She's like, you ain't fuck with the music and shit. I'm like, yeah, I took last year off. I mean, this COVID shit kind of fucked me up this year. So let me just start talking, chatting, 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 chatting. She like, basically, like, Nigga, we about to turn this shit up. Like, we about to, nah, fuck that. Get back on the gram. Word. She's That's like, hard. You need that get back sometimes. on the gram. Yeah. Get back on the gram this day. You're going to come back. You're going to post this. You're going to post that. We, 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 what the fuck? Nah. I'm like, all right, say that. That's hard. That discipline, too. Me and her just been, been rocking. Nah, yeah. That sounds like she's riding for you right there. She's getting, she's, she's putting you in line almost, like, you know what I'm saying? And not disrespectfully, but just like, nah, you know, yeah. this, this, I needed that, though. Like, like I said, I don't have nobody so when she yeah, hit me structure. like yo what the fuck you doing nah we ain't doing that get back on the gram we back we, we on the ass <laughs> you be hanging out you pick up your, like put your phone now like nah <laughs> yeah put that shit yeah. on there she bro. like nah we ain't doing that nigga. nah like, I fuck with the uh, out here trying to function they got a dope page I be seeing they're always like making little moves here and there they do yeah. events too right hell yeah, yeah hell yeah so. so yeah I was just like I was like alright shit like fuck it let's do it you feel me? And she like, yeah, you ain't leaving Jersey. You staying right here. We about to do this shit. We about to do this. You, you guys, you, you said you work because I was working on music. Yeah. I just, I don't know. My confidence was low. I guess like my self esteem was just low. I wasn't really vibing. So, and she just like boosted me. I guess like fuck that nigga. You got me. We rocking. 
and we just started rolling. And then niggas just start seeing the progress, seeing me work, work, work. They start just catching on, like, all right, bro, if you, I can help you with this, or oh, I can do this, or uh, uh, uh oh, bro. Now it's just more, 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 more. Like, yeah. like, damn, what the fuck y'all niggas been at before? Like, you feel me? Nah, so sometimes just, they just need to see it. The, yeah, that's like, what I know. It. It's and, one thing, like, yo, your friend is doing it. They might be like, all right, that's my friend. But now they're like, oh, he's got a manager. Oh, he's consistently yeah, doing this, exactly. this, and this. Exactly. That's what it was, the consistency. They needed to see me being consistent. You feel me? And I would just... Basically, like, in my bag, like, damn, niggas ain't fucking with the movement. I, I, I just wasn't, my foot wasn't on neck. You feel yeah. me? My foot I feel like it's like, for like, you know, all, all the artists probably feel like that at some point. Your when foot got to be on neck, though. Once, you, once your foot on neck, that shit don't even bother you. Like, that, you don't even feel that shit. Like, if, if no, yeah, whatever, you don't, you like, yo, I'm working. I know that I'm working. Like, yeah. so now it's like, I don't, it's just, you feel me? I feel good now. Like, and before I was feeling like a little sluggish with this shit. Like, damn, I, I. I feel good now because I know I'm putting the work in. Yeah, now you got that motivation just to keep going with it. Now, yeah. now there's no stopping though because now yeah, you're doing yeah, this grand yeah. shit. You might yeah. just call it quit. Nah, it's oh, it's over now. <laughs> we in the game. Coach, coach tagged me in. It's it's the second quarter. We balling out. I'm about to drop fifty. Stop playing. You use a basketball reference. Where you just, I, you came up playing football, right? I did. I would I would expect I came up playing, right but look there. though, as a kid, <laughs> I played both. Yeah, played both. And then in high school, I played freshman basketball. I wasn't gonna play football at all. Yeah. I was not gonna play football. I played freshman basketball. I didn't like the situation. Coach was trying to like not play me, but he ain't like my attitude, I guess you say. You feel me? And so he gave me like the limited minutes. And when I get in the game, I'm tweaking. No cap. I'm not um I'm not uh the high score and the I'm the everything else player. Like yeah. I'm gonna give you the three and D type of no buckets, you're not scoring on me. I'm blocking shit. But that's freshman basketball at the end of the day. You feel me? I shit ain't really go how I wanted to go. Like, it just didn't work for me. Like, I don't know. Um, got to sophomore year, and I was going to play football, and I was like, I right, fuck it. I'll play. Like, basketball didn't really go the way yeah. I thought it was going to go. I'll play football. Let me just see. And I killed. I killed. And so I was like, pew. That shit hard. Yeah, and I didn't even know what I was going to play. I didn't know I was going to play quarterback, defensive end, receiver, tight end. I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. Yeah, I just brought it up because I saw you reference it in an article. You didn't reference basketball. Or at least I didn't see that part. That's why I was like, when you made the 50-point thing, I was like, I fuck with basketball, though. I fuck with basketball because I feel like it's it's more individual sport. You carry your weight, more or less. What do you think about the season this year? You watch the NBA, I'm assuming, right? I ain't really like it. This little bubble shit. This shit was a little... uh, It was whatever. Shout out to the Lakers. They got the championship. You have a team or not? Nah? Yeah, my team suck. Who is it? I like the Bulls. The who? The Bulls. Oh, the Bulls? I'm a Derrick Rose fan, but I'm not no bandwagon, so I'm not about to keep jumping team to team. You was a Bull. I was a Bull. You left. <laughs> I'm still a Derrick Rose fan. I just I fuck with the Bulls. I hear he's going to the Lakers, too. I don't know how true it is, but I was reading rumors. I don't you know really... LeBron you know, grabs all the pieces he wants. That should be ass as hell, bro. But you from here. How you not a Knicks fan? Why the fuck would I be a Knicks? I don't know. I figure you're from Jersey. Knicks are right here. You could actually go to a game. I've been, to, I've been to Nets games, New Jersey Nets. Yeah, I know, but they left a long time ago. Brooklyn Nets. I've been to a bunch the of traders. New Jersey Nets games. But as far as me being a Knicks fan, hell no. As far as being a Nets fan, hell no. Uh, <laughs> hell no. I don't got that I got to be a home team type of guy. Nope. 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 <laughs> So like what do you, what do you think of like the scene out here in Jersey as far as music goes? Is there any artists you want to work with or artists you look up to out here? I don't look up to nobody. Let me say okay. that. None of, none of these niggas. Shout out to all of these niggas though. But um I definitely want to work with my son Marcus. That's my boy. We supposed to bend work, man. If he watched this shit, man, let's put this work in, man. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? Um I'm I'm already in tune with New Era. Um other artists, it probably is some artists. I wanna work with everybody. Shit. Anybody okay, so want to work open. with me? I'm open to work with everybody. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, and I don't mean no disrespect, but I'm trying to burn niggas on tracks. I'm <laughs> so you do got that competitiveness. You just want to kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> In a good way though. Like, no, I yeah, us, yeah, of course. I want us to make a hit. I just want my verse to be better. Dougie F, you want to work with? Do want to work with bro? Do want to work with bro? Want to burn? You gotta do it for. You gotta do it for the whole time. Yeah, I want, I want to have my verse be better on that song too, though. <laughs> Uh, so what else you got going on? You know saying? Anything I miss or other things you're working on? You got videos coming out? Yeah, I got some video. I just was in tune with some videographers today. I'm um, trying to get uh, at least four or five videos shot. At least three. But I want to get four or five shot. At least three, though. Get three videos out. 
I feel like start pressing them things, get it going. <laughs> yeah. Start getting on some playlists and shit like that. Like, nah, just get yeah. this shit rolling. That's like, hard. You me? What's your favorite part about being an artist? Is it the foreman? Is it the creating the music? Is it, you know, seeing somebody ride by and play your music? I like that part too. That shit be lit. <laughs> what was the first time it happened to you? I was in my house. <laughs> I was in my house and had my window open. And I just heard my song. No, I even, I, at first I didn't even peep it. I just hit a beat. And so I just now started nodding my head. I'm like, this shot. I'm just listening like my shit. So I look out the window. I see somebody like just riding past. Like that shit on blast. I'm like, damn. You jump out the window? Nah, I ain't yeah. even said nothing. I ain't even said nothing. I just was like, damn. The first time that this shit like fucked me up, it wasn't even like nobody like listening to the music. Yeah. It was a little girl. She was walking past my house. And I'm walking out my house. Little girl walking past my house. She stopped and she was like, turned around like, you juice powder? Oh, that's hard. I was like, that's in my hard. head, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you setting me up right now? Like, like yo, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like, yeah. How you, you said it was a kid? Yo, she like, she. I don't know how old she is, but she had to be like nine, nah, bro. Oh, okay. You know, they say kids and strippers know the next wave before anybody else. That's why I'm trying to get in this strip club, bro. Nah, dead ass. They say strippers, because strippers are always around the artists that hear what's popping in your strip clubs. Exactly. And, you know, kids, because kids are always just in tune. Did I throw the ass gripper in the strip club? Yo. That was a hard. Oh, bro. Why are you not going over to Angels with that? You got to take it over there. I'll go over there. With yeah. the, with. Uh, you got cheeks. You can take it to cheeks. Exit eleven. Take, exit eleven. You can take it all these spots. I got. Oh, I gotta get. I gotta get it going. But that's the next. That's the next step. That's the next step. I mean, I'm taking it step by step. I'm gonna get in the motherfucking things. Feel me? Or, but back to that. Yeah, that has to be a great experience. Like, especially so random. Cause like, how does this kid even know who you are? She said she's seen my music on YouTube and she's seen the stickers I have posted up around the city. I was going to say, I saw the sticker oh, yeah. on the back of your phone. Thanks, I got one for you too. Oh, word. I, I stick stickers on my laptop, so definitely. Yeah. And you did, you should have brought the juice, though. That, I'm telling you, this should go hard. Next time we got to. Next time we got to get the it's juice. It's a prop, you know what I'm saying? So nah, you can see point it right here. And, and. Damn, I fumbled. Nah, you're saying. It, it's hard. It goes back to what you're saying, though. You're doing so many things. It's hard to always remember every little thing, you know? It's like yeah. you're preparing for an interview. You're saying, I'm sure you're doing some other things. Like, oh, let me make it over here now, so. Yeah, I was definitely just in there. I was actually listening to the beats just now. You know, oh, I was right. listening to the beats. We about to put another, a little project together. I mean, something slight. Oh, you fire. feel me? A little, I'm about to collab with one of my homies. Who? We about to do, like uh, Joey, his name Joey Fisherman. He ain't, uh, he dropped a couple songs, but he ain't really started pressing yet. It's like one of your friends, or is this another yeah, artist you're just like working with? This is a, he an artist at the end of the day, but he is he a homie of mine. Oh, that's fine. Like, it's like my cousin and shit. He started doing music, um, and like uh, shit. He is that your process? Like you find the beats first? Yeah, because I mean, nah, nah I can't even say that. It just depends. Like um, the intro, I wrote that, literally wrote that shit, and then I had freestyle something totally different to that beat. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna use what I wrote instead of what I freestyle. You feel me? So it just depends on how I feel, how it flow with the beat. You feel me? If I catch something that's I think hard, like um, what's the shit? The new what's the G Herbo freestyle? The little freestyle challenge he did. Oh, what, who run it? Oh, you're talking about that one. I had I had wrote that. I had wrote a whole song, but I wrote that song I was gonna do with somebody, and I ended up doing it with them. I put them lyrics, the whole song lyrics on the G Herbo beat, and that shit ended up hitting. Like, I didn't think it was gonna <laughs> hit like that. That like shit that, yeah. was hitting. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> feel me? That's when I knew it wasn't just specifically beat, then vocals, but more times than not, yeah. find a beat that I fuck with. Oh shit, fuck with this. Turn me up. Oh, well, I was like, I do we always say. So, how you know when a song is done for you? Um, I could feel it. It's mm. more feeling than, for me. Like I can feel like that shit full, my atlas where they need to be, um, my my doubles. If I need the triple, shit. If I don't need doubles, yeah. If, I'm, if my voice already strong enough, I don't need doubles. If I don't need in and outs, if I don't need the atlas, like I just listen. Like after I lay the, the mains down, I listen, I listen to it. I get my, cause I don't never write atlas. I just go in there and fill them shits. Yeah. I got nah, do another take of lips, do another take of lips. Let me feel it, let me feel it. And I just, you feel me? So, like, when I feel like, all right, this shit, this is done. 
That's all right. Maybe rock and roll. That's dope. So, so what are some of the things from this interview you want the people to walk walk away with about you, or that they should know about you? Um, I'm I'm here to stay. I'm here. I'm here for the long run. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that work in. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how to get it out the mud. Like if you watching, if, whenever you start watching, you can be like yo that young nigga working. You feel me? I'm gonna be on my grind because like that's 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 what takes success. That's what success takes. Um, you gotta stay on your shit. You feel me? So y'all just gonna keep seeing me. I'm gonna be consistent with the shit. Now that's that's the key right there. Consistency Part is king. Now. Consistency is king. So for the people out there, just you can't you can't you can't let down. You're saying O H T F. You're saying they got they got they, got a lot. they put their faith into you. Yeah, facts. They did. They did. They did. I can't let the fans down at this point. Cause do they have any other artists like associated with them, or is it just pretty much you? I don't know. Honestly, oh, okay. like I don't really get into that to that business on that on that end because it's business. Yeah. No, I just didn't know if, like if there was other people. You I mean, there. I'm. Sh- I don't know. Alright, that's the answer. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, that's the only answer you could give. I was just wondering. I don't know. I just be intrigued myself. It's not even about nothing. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not really intrigued, but I'm. I work with them niggas though. <laughs> if it is, I work with all them niggas. All I right. work with damn near anybody. We could work, man. Like, shit. Like, let's put some hot. You, some, so some you said you was ready to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, well, niggas. I, I do different genres and everything. Yeah, I want to do some rock music. Fuck. Come on. Wait, where did the rock music come from? You guys just looked at each other, then you said nah, rock music. Just, they, like, the oh, oh. Uh. Like, you just look like a rock star. They do. You like a rock star. I want to rock and roll. Like, what the fuck? I want to do music with everybody. Like, I'm trying to. And I don't mean no disrespect when I say I want to kill niggas on the track. Like, nah, I want to make I a hot track. This is rap is a competitive sport. Yeah, I don't feel like anybody could be offended by it. You better not just, be. You better not be. That's some pussy ass shit. You just got to. You got to step shit. up. Be offended because I said I want to kill you on the track. Nigga, kill me back. Pull yourself. Come on. <laughs> Alright, Juice. Uh, let the people know where they can find you. You say any of your drops you want them to oh, shit. where to buy your stuff at, you know what I'm saying? Your juice. Like I said, man, we're doing this uh sauce challenge. Everybody, I want y'all to upload your best video or the most lit video. Do something lit. I don't care if you bring hella ketchup, hella hot sauce. I don't care if you just do a little trailer video doing a dance. Do anything you want to do. The most the most lit video. It's getting 150. Put it on the gram. Put it on Twitter. Put it on Facebook. Make sure you tag me. Juice Potter. Juice Potter underscore on Twitter. Hugo Potter. J U G O on on um Instagram. Uh, Hugo Potter on Facebook. Like let's do this. Let's. I mean, who want this money? I'm giving out this money. Who wants some bread? Um, you feel me? And like I said, Hugo Potter on Instagram. Juice Potter underscore on Twitter. I mean, run up the new project, Project Potter, out now. Let's go. Let's run them streams up. Yo, we gotta work out a backdoor deal to where I win the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, like, I'm telling you, if your, your video, the littest video, is, I'm dropping it right I'm gonna off. need all these stickers he brought. He can have them all. Take them. my em. sauce right here for the video. Take them. Them your, them your, them your stickers. Take them. Your shit. Nah, that's uh, Juice Potter. I want to thank you again for coming on to the show. Thank you for having me, man. Um, I appreciate everybody that's tuning into the Garden State Hip Hop Hour right now. Definitely like, subscribe, comment, you know what I'm saying? Let us know your favorite Juice Potter song. Check out the project, and we're going to catch you next time.